In this exercise, we will look at defense and attack at the same time. We begin by splitting the exercises in, in more, de in more uh, parts so that it's easier to learn. So the first part is <coughs> stretching your arms forward, lowering the elbows, like this. This is the first part of the exercise. Stretch your arms forward, lowering the elbow, lowering the elbow, lowering the elbow. This is the first part. Make sure that there is a distance, don't bring it to all the way to the body. And make sure that the, that the elbows don't go out, like this. They don't go out, the elbows is in. So that there is a line, not, not, not squeezing inside, but so that there is a line. If you have a mirror you're looking at, you will see that the, the fingers and the elbows and the shoulders, they are on a line. The elbows are not in and the elbows is not out, but it's on a line. So stretch your arms, lower your elbows. Stretch your arms, lower your elbows. On the side, stretch your arms, lower the elbows. Stretch the arms, lower the elbows. So we will put the punch arm. So stretch the arms, lower the elbows. Take the one hand, punch in the center, bring it back to the side, punch with the other hand to the center, bring it back, punch, bring it back, 45 degrees, punch, bring it back. Punch, 90 degrees, bring it back, punch, bring it back, punch, bring it back, punch. <clears throat> it will feel a little bit like you are unnaturally long forward with your arms. Because most people, the, the most common mistakes is that they will pull this hands too close to the body when this, when this is coming. This, the defending hand has to be forward and down, not back. Forward, down. This is why it's a good, it's a good idea to train it like this. Keep it forward and lowering the elbows. Keep it forward, not pulling the hand back. Just lowering the elbows, but keeping the hand forward. Like this, this is the first part. Punch. Bring it to the side, punch, bring it to the side, punch, bring it back, punch, bring it back. Now, we will try and do it together. So when you punch and you shift sides, do it together. So this hand blocking, this hand is punching. This hand is blocking, this hand is punching. When you do this, if you feel that this is a little bit too hard, just take a step back and go one, two, one, two, one, two, and when you feel that, okay, I'm getting it, change to one, two, one motion, one, two, one, two. So over time, you will learn how to save uh, as much time as possible in all of your techniques. So because naturally, if you do it like one, two, or like one, one is twice as fast, so you want to do thing, things as fast as possible. So, one, 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 one. So, in the beginning, stretch your arms, lower the elbows. Punch, place it, punch, place it back, punch, place it back, punch. Now, at the same time, punch and juts up. Punch and Jut down. This is called jut down because if you're only doing this exercise, we call it jut sao. But if you put a punch into it, it becomes jut da. Da means to punch, to punch. So jut da, jut da, jut da, jut da. Punch, 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 punch. Blocking at the same time. Go like this.
This is very good coordination, good, good way for the brain to coordinate. You can do the same with open hands, so you don't have to think about which hand is closed, which hand is open, you just go with the whole hand. with the palm or you can go with the finger jab. Or with the punch. Train this exercise until it becomes second nature. 